Our top story at 11 takes us out live to launch pad 39B at Kennedy Space Center. NASA counting down to its second attempt at launching its most powerful rocket ever to the moon. The new launch window opens tomorrow at 2.17 in the afternoon. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Tonight, teams are making tweaks to their original launch plan in hopes of avoiding a second scrub. Part of the new plan, chilling the engines earlier than they did during the first attempt. You'll remember one of the biggest hiccups involved a problem cooling one of the engines. NASA says it turns out a faulty sensor was throwing a false alarm. But engineers still want to start the chilling process 30 to 45 minutes earlier than they did on Monday. So that will begin around 8 tomorrow morning. We have other sensors in the system that can confirm uh, the temperatures are getting to where they want. Uh, so they're quite confident they've got this figured out and they'll be okay to press through the countdown tomorrow. Now, obviously, we'll have to wait and see how that goes, uh, but they're confident. Artemis will lift off on a 37-day mission around the moon. It will reach roughly 40,000 miles beyond the moon before re-entering Earth's atmosphere at more than 24,000 miles per hour. Splashdown is set for October 11th. If, for whatever reason, the Artemis launch is delayed past Tuesday, September 6th, NASA officials say the rocket would have to be rolled back to the vehicle assembly building to undergo safety checks.